y'all. What's going on, honey? Who y'all, I'm tired. Give me a minute. Uh, girl, I fucking white knuckled it at the gym today. Like, ugh. Oh, y'all probably won't even know what that means. Because when I told YB I white knuckled it, he was like, what the fuck? And he's half white. I it, I went balls to the wall. Like, uh, it was an intense workout. And, uh, girl, I'm feeling it already. Like, all up in here... All up in here, across here, my lip. Girl, I just worked it all out. What do I want to talk to y'all about first? We have to talk about Britney Spears, and we got to talk about my unpopular opinions. So what, Britney Spears, um, free Britney. Like, I, I really, ugh, girl, I don't know too much about the situation, but here's what I do know. Britney was doing just fine. And then all of a sudden, she went to a beauty salon and was like, I have had it, and cut off all her hair. Now, that wasn't the worst part. I mean, because bitches cut their hair all the time, okay? You break up with a dude, you cut your hair because you want a new cut, a new color, a new look, a new do. And that's what Brittany did, okay? She went bald. After that, she said, oh, no, that's not enough. She went outside and took an umbrella to a random person's minivan. Again, bitch, I understand. I hate vans. Nobody, you drive a van because you have to. Nobody goes to the lot and says, oh, girl, there is nothing I want more than a motherfucking minivan. No, you choose a van because you got so many motherfucking kids that they can't even fit in an SUV. You need a, a mini bus. Nobody chooses to drive that. So I can understand why that's the car she chose to take her anger out upon. And so, of course, paparazzi had a field day. The press had a field day. And I guess so did her father. Her dad was like, you see? Mm -mm. She, I don't even know if she had kids then. But when she had kids, and remember when she did chaotic, like, it was things that she was doing that her daddy was like, two checks for B2B. Like, he was not, I don't know. He was not in support of what she was doing, and I guess he wanted to control every aspect of her life. So he was tallying up every little thing to show the judge, see, she's not in full control of what she's doing. She needs some help. She needs a conservatorship. When the conservatorship started, I do not know, y'all. And I feel horrible because I did not do my research, but I'm just shooting from the cuff. She eventually got that conservatorship, and I know around circus, um... The Vegas residency, all of that, she was on the conservatorship. She had lawyers and this person and that person in her life in and out. And her dad was orchestrating every minute of it. This girl, and I don't know why, but this is the first conservatorship hearing that Britney was able to speak at. I don't know what her dad was telling the courts to not have her be in the building. But, um, no ma'am. Because he's been having multiple conservatorship hearings. And she ain't been a part of now one of them. But now she is. And she told it all. She said, uh-uh. Back in the day when this shit first started, he had me go to a personal rehab at a house that I was paying $62,000 a month for. Girl, uh-uh. She said she had no privacy. People was watching her naked. People was watching her change, think, read, sleep, eat. You name it, they was watching and this is all against her will. Baby, if you don't go. And it just got worse. The woman became a prisoner in her own home. Baby, no ma'am. And I, I know I see her praise dancing and doing her ones and her twos on her Instagram channel. And yes, yeah, she looks weird, but she's a white woman. They all do weird shit. She is no different from anybody else, okay? Didn't we see um one of the Real Housewives of New Jersey doing the same goddamn thing? Hell, even Jill Marie Jones danced like that. God, let that woman be free. And for those who don't know, Jill Marie Jones was Tony Childs on Girlfriends. Keep up. You know who else is whitewashed and I know I'm getting off topic. That damn Golden Brooks. Girl, you had all my hopes up with this Maya Wilkes. Oh, hell yes. Oh, hell no. 
And then you're like, Dakota. She named her daughter Dakota. I mean, not that anything is wrong with that. She. So, I, let me just eat stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, she named her daughter Dakota. And the way she said Dakota, it's like she wants to be a valley girl so goddamn bad. And it's just like, girl, you black. Talk like this. And not like a Like, I don't need all of that. But anyways, yeah. Yeah, Britney was like, I don't I don't deserve this. I deserve my freedom. I can't get married. I can't have no baby. I can't do diddly squat pop unless my daddy gives me the okay. It's all my money. Everybody losing me like I'm a little girl. That was Britney. That was not her daddy. But she really is a slave, girl. I guess she's spoken into existence, okay? She's a slave. For daddy. Cause baby daddy got her Bitch you ain't Bitch you ain't going nowhere And I, who wants to live like that Who deserves to live like that Even members of her family is like free Brittany Because And when she was speaking And reading from the paper that she had written Mama did not sound like she needed no damn help No damn conservatorship Nobody looking over every motherfucking move She making every breath she motherfucking take She don't need all of that this is some I care a lot type shit. Like, girl, I, baby, you can't walk through that. You gonna have to walk around. Keep looking back all you want. You can't go that way, daddy. Move up. This ain't my business. Anyway, um, girl, no. Now, who needs to be looked after is that damn Kanye. Where's his motherfucking conservatorship? Who, who allocating his motherfucking funds? Cause he done skipped out on daddy daycare and now he out in the Himalayas with a whole new bitch. Ah, mm-mm. Besides shaving her head, busting the windows out somebody's car, almost dropping her baby that time, but she had, you know, so many people in her face and in her place. Like she couldn't even see where she was going. She didn't see the curve. But besides those things, what has Britney really done for people to just decide, oh my God, she is not capable of just caring for herself? I don't understand. I don't know, girl. I don't know all the facts. So I know I'm not really presenting a strong case. This is really just opinionated as fuck, but y'all look into it. Like the woman can't do shit, y'all. Like if I ain't said nothing else, get that. She can't do, she can barely take a shit without her daddy's like she on medicine she got all these people in her face she can't make the music she want to make she can't go to places she want to go she can't be with who she want uh, she got a boyfriend but they can't do shit they can't do a damn thing but you know what Brittany you ain't had the best choice of me but who has who has That's, that's all I got on Britney, y'all. I care about Britney. I, and even if it wasn't Britney Spears, I would want anybody to be freed from a motherfucking prison that they didn't deserve to be in. This don't make no fucking sense. Like, you motherfucking white people just cannot accept that it is not okay to own people. Slavery should have never been a thing. People are not property. Are y'all fucking serious? Moving on. Because I'm, I'm already hot at y'all ass. And let me move on. This is dedicated. This is unpopular opinion. Point number one. Thank you so much, bitch, for proving my point before I even get to it. This is unpopular opinion. Retail edition. Because y'all know I'm a manager at a retail store. That was the promotion, girl. <laughs> Holla if you hear me. Um, number one. When in the fuck did people... Because at first it was just the ladies. But now I see gentlemen doing it too. No, not gentlemen. Fuck that. I see men doing it too. I see I see women and men. Because y'all are not ladies and y'all damn strong gentlemen. When did y'all start wearing shoes that was a size and a half too motherfucking big? 
and why. Somebody wants somebody to leave. Please tell me what's wrong. I don't, uh uh-uh. I've heard the stories of, oh, the ladies with the heels do it because they don't want that. Bitch, no pain, no motherfucking gain. Every time you walk, your shit is clacking like flip-flops because you can't hold the shoe on your foot. Girl, hell no. And y'all ain't even doing it with heels. Mind you, I said men was doing it too. Y'all doing it with tennis shoes now. I can stick my whole hand in the back of some of y'all shoes. Why? What? Girl. If the store you are at currently does not have the shoe size that you need, do not buy the next size up just because you really want the goddamn shoe. Go somewhere else. Order it online. Girl, do something other than wearing goddamn boats on your goddamn feet. That is played. Tie it through and delayed. I No. I will never understand or be okay with that shit. It looks tacky. You look like La Cienega Boulevard ass, bitch. With them big ass flippers for feet. Number two, communication. It's a whole bunch of little bullet points, but it all kind of is under the communication umbrella. Number one, why in the fuck is it okay? And when in the fuck did it become okay to hold full conversations on your phone on speaker? I understand people are afraid of germs, this, that, and the third, but bitch, it's your phone, so that means it's your germs. Put the shit up to your ear, get an earpiece, or wait until you get in the motherfucking car, bitch. We don't need to hear your conversation because we don't care. You are having a full conversation, and you can't speak in your inside tone because it's on speaker and the phone is out here. You shopping, and you like, okay, girl. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. We're not doing that. That was never okay. No, 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 no. Monique, those the hoes you need to tap on the shoulder. Not bitches and bonnets. Like, I don't understand. But you know what? It be the girls in the bonnets with the phone on the speaker. I'm just saying. Shoot the messenger if you want to, but bitch, I'm learning to shoot back, okay? I didn't I didn't already made my appointment. Well, I didn't make my appointment for the gun rights, but I did tell my daddy I wanted to go. That's just like making an appointment. Second bullet point under communication. Even if you ain't got the bitch on speaker, if you know your voice carries, do not have no full conversation indoors. Again, we don't want to hear your full conversation. Number three bullet point. Hallelujah. Why the fuck y'all whistling? Now this, black folks, y'all off the table. Most white folks are off the table. It's the Indians. It's the Hispanics. The Latins. All you bitches whistle like no to fucking morrow. Y'all go y'all separate way. Lose the person that you were with. Got a phone on your person. And it's... (laughs) Bitch, if you don't shut the fuck up. You are not a motherfucking parakeet. Shut up. Why are you whistling? That is so annoying. And you would think, I was just whistling. But when you hear this shit 50 to 60,000 times a day, it becomes a little redundant, a little old, a little bitch, won't you quiet that shit the fuck down, pull out your phone and call the hoe that you, how about you go with, go to the place you left her. Nine times out of nine, that's exactly where the fuck she at. Next is attire. Girl, y'all can try to cuss me out like y'all did, Monique, but I said what the fuck I said. I'm okay with the bunnies. Because I understand, bitch. You ain't got time to do your hair at every occasion, but bitch. First of all, it's finna be July. The flannel all-in-one pajama suits should already be too hot for your motherfucking ass to put on in the first place. So why is that something that you look inside your damn dresser and be like, ooh, let me put this on? Number one. Even around your house, you shouldn't have it on. But I don't need to see it in in the stores. I don't need to see it. Bitch, I I would much rather you put on a t-shirt and and yoga pants. I would rather you put on workout clothes knowing goddamn well you ain't worked or out ever. But 
you, baby, you, you throw Ivy Park on in a minute, girl. Got everything she on. And bitch don't even know how to get inside of a gym. But okay, I would much rather that than pajamas. No. And I'm not saying slippers. Because everybody wear them on me no sly. I, I'm, not, I'm not mad at that. The pajamas. The flannels. Them little night shirts with the little messages on them. On my way to Snoozeville. Bitch, no, you on your way to the goddamn retail store. So rethink your attire. Please and thank you. And again, don't get me wrong, I'm all for dressing comfortably. I dress for leisure all the time. But I always seem to get a compliment on the way I look. And I could have on a sweatsuit. They have leisure clothes. They have clothes that you can just throw on. You know, an oversized t-shirt, some little joggers. Again, you can wear the workout clothes. Beyonce ain't mad that you ain't working out of her shit. Just buy it. And you do. So wear it. Third unpopular opinion, and this isn't really retail, but I just got to throw this in here since I'm already talking about shit that other people may not agree with. If you're not going to be original, don't act like you are original. Like, some of y'all hoes are on YouTube directly stealing, like, exact content from people and are acting like you're the first to do it. Where they do that at? Because not over here. And another thing. Don't be mad when you're not included in shit if when we try to include you, you never have time. We being a collective of YouTubers. Because I'm pretty sure if I've been a part of a situation where it's happened, everybody who's collaborated with somebody has been in a situation where it's happened. Shit ain't cool. You ain't Hollywood. Because if you was... Your account would reflect that. Your viewership will reflect that. And it doesn't. And if you were that girl, your your influence would carry. So the girls that you got on YouTube will be the girls you have on Instagram, will be the girls you have on Twitter, will be the girls you have down to your Facebook page. But them numbers ain't matching. So in the famous words of the Cat's Meow that originated with Destiny's Child, slow down, cause y'all moving way too fast. You ain't too good. And I, I think it, it might be the crabs in a barrel syndrome. You collaborating with somebody who is just as talented or maybe a little bit more talented than you, doesn't take away from your shine. The hoes that came for you came for you. And even if they like or agree with or connect with the other girl, these are still your people. You're not going to miss out on what God has for you. It is for you. Like, you have to understand that. I don't know why I gave y'all a Macy Gray song, but girl, it just worked. Um, But yeah, like... Y'all see where I'm going with this. I don't want to make this too lengthy, but... You don't have to... Mind, mind, you don't have to do that. Because then bitches ain't going to want to fuck with you. Besides the little circle that you have. And you think that's okay until it's time for opportunities. Endorsements. This, that, and the third. And you're getting looked over. And skipped over. And forgotten. You don't want that. You don't want that. Unless you do. Because there are some ghetto superstars out there who just like, bitch, I'm okay with being the queen of, of, of this region of people. I'm okay with having X amount of subscribers and getting 10% of that in viewership. Like, so, some people are, you know, some people live for the fortune and some people live for the fame. You know, like, 
I don't know. I just see it and I thought I would say something. So if you think it's you, clean it up. Because it's not going to get you nowhere. Just like with the gay community. Why can't we be friends? People find it so odd when I'm nice to other gay guys. And it's just like, why not? What what are they taking away from me, girl? Do you see what I see? I'm good. I'm good. And so are they. And recognizing that they have it going on does not take away from the fact that I do too. Again, it's getting lengthy. I, girl, I've been sitting at this place for forever. And it's not for me to go in. So I love you guys. Um, free Britney. And people in retail stores, get your shit together. People on YouTube, get your shit together. Cats me out, get your shit together. I mean, I'm really good, but, you know, the only thing I need to just get better with is consistency. But, again, I do this shit at my leisure. Because I was that person chasing the view, chasing the subscribership, chasing this and chasing that. And when I had it, my life didn't change. There's a video of mine that has over 300,000 views. And there's a video of mine that has under 300. I'm still Jenny from the block, you know, regardless. So I don't let that dictate how I move. When I move to do something, I do it. But shout out to YB because he is the reason why y'all have this video. Because a lot of times when I have an idea of content, I always tell him to do it. I'm always like, oh, YB, you should do this. I really care about this and you should talk about it. And he's always like, bitch, you do it. The people want to hear from you. And, you know, I hear him and I hear y'all. But anyway, again, lengthy. Love y'all. Make sure y'all are liking, commenting, and subscribing. And that the notifications are on, girl. Same place, same time.